Hi there, Cancer, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. I'm going to be doing this sort of like a year in review type of thing for 2018. It's a little bit of astrology and a little bit of uh, tarot. So without further ado, the cards are already laid up laid out let's get to your reading cancer okay now the first card here it represents lessons from the previous year from 2017 and what you have here is the two of pentacles in the reverse position two of pentacles upright this is uh, harmony in the midst of change and being able to juggle several different things at the same time and doing so harmoniously things kind of being in balance when it's in the reverse position, however, it could be that for some of you, 2017 was um, a little bit difficult. Maybe you had some trouble uh, sort of keeping on track with everything. It could be that um, you kind of had, for some of you, maybe you had too much on your plate. You were trying to juggle work and home or, you know, um, juggling finances, juggling people, juggling situations. And you felt maybe a little bit tight in that area. Maybe you felt that at the end of the year, you were like, oh, I'm, you know, like dropping the ball on some of these things because it's, uh, I've just had too much on my plate this year, too much to deal with. It was a little bit overwhelming. And um, that could have just been a lesson for you in 2017 that it was um, about maybe not taking on more than you can comfortably deal with because that can be very overwhelming when we do that it's very much like the ten of wands when things go out of balance like that it could be and it it's a general read right so it'll play out differently for all of you but maybe there was just uh, home life, uh, people in your life that weren't uh, cooperating or getting along with each other and you were in the middle of it and trying to, you know, straighten everything out. Cancers being the caregivers often do find themselves in that situation and it can be overwhelming and very difficult to deal with. So perhaps for some of you, you were um, dealing with that in 2017. Now, the next card is the horizon, what you can expect in the year 2018. And you pulled the Four of Cups in the reverse position. The Four of Cups upright, this is sort of like the ho-hum card, feeling emotionally apathetic and not really wanting to accept the, the emotional abundance that could potentially be around us. So we're just kind of like turning a blind eye to it. Luckily, the card is in the reverse position, so... What you can expect this new year is maybe coming out of a little bit of that emotional apathy. And certainly if you had a lot to deal with in 2017, I can definitely understand that because water signs do process everything through their emotions. So uh, when we get overwhelmed, sometimes, you know, the emotions can kind of almost shut down. And it's like, wow, I don't have time to deal with that. I just have to deal with what's on my plate kind of thing. But the good news is in 2018, this sees you coming out of that and perhaps uh, being a little bit more emotionally open and uh, wanting to actually bond with more people on an emotional level, which is very nice. Now, the third card is, um, this is sort of like an obstacle, a challenge you could be facing this year. And you pull the uh, Ace of Wands in the reverse position. The Ace of Wands upright. This is like a passionate new idea about something. It's a new start in something, a new business or things like that, or a passionate new relationship. When it's in the reverse position, however, this is sort of like, um, and as an obstacle card, um, something that could be challenging to you this year, is it? you might find it difficult to um, actually get your passion towards uh, certain things. Maybe you'll be struggling to want to start uh, a new project or a new idea or so forth, and you want to really be passionate about it. But however, it could be as an obstacle, it could be a bit of a struggle for you to find maybe something that a hobby or what have you that you can be really passionate about. But you'll be like working towards that but there could be obstacles and delays while you know, you're know you trying to find that passion. Now, the next card up is uh, strength, how you harness your inner power in 2018. And you pulled the um, 
Ten of Cups in the upright position. Ten of Cups is really nice energy. This is uh, for your personal power for this year. Hmm. That's really nice energy. Uh, what it's basically saying is to um, maybe, uh, again, it's a card of emotions, right? So this is about dealing with emotions on a grander level, like really opening yourself up and beginning to feel again. That's where you'll find your power this year is probably on the emotional front. It's uh, the Ten of Cups is like being uh, very connected on a soul level, an emotional level to another person, uh, to family, to friends, where you're just feeling overwhelming. It's an abundance of love. So this is where it's saying you will find your personal power. Now, the next card up is lessons you uh, may have learned last year, and you could either build on those or not. Um, it's just advice position you pull the ten of swords in the reverse position well as um, lessons you may have learned last year it could be that uh, the, the ten of swords is basically in the reverse position this is about healing from um, from feeling sort of betrayed by other people or a feeling that um, you know they did things that we didn't expect them to do it could have been loved ones uh, or friends turning on you when you didn't expect that that kind of thing really hurt you hurt your feelings um, so but when it's that's when it's in the upright but when it's in the reverse this is like um, coming out of that and starting to heal from these situations it could have been that in 2017 you had bouts of these types of energies happening with you um and you were really disappointed maybe in in some people maybe a lot of people throughout the year uh but you are healing from that so that's something you can build on is continuing this year to heal from that situation or those situations and the next card up, this is uh, the guidance for the year ahead. And you pulled Major Arcana, the sun, in the upright position. This is really nice. Um, as a guidance card, the sun is basically speaking of success, attainment, uh, feeling confident, feeling really good. So this is a beautiful energy to pull for navigation and, you know, guidance for the year ahead because the sun is all about uh, feeling confident and successful and abundant and, um, and feeling like really happy, but it's a natural kind of happy. You know, um, and it also can represent victory and, and uh, achieving one's goals. So that's some really beautiful energy, Cancer, for um, guidance for the year. And the last card here is uh, Clarity, your personal theme for the year. You have another major arcana here, and this is uh, Judgment in the Upright Position. Judgment, this is, um, this card generally speaks of sometimes needing to make a judgment call on something but this is also a major card of uh it's a very profound energy uh judgment is uh, it's extremely profound uh this is about resurrection too so this is about resurrecting something in your life it could be that uh it's it's also like rebuilding it's uh resurrecting and rebuilding something that may have fallen flat so it could be the situation maybe it has to do with this uh ten of swords i'm gonna put the reading now all in in uh in uh, order here in the sense that what i see for its completion is that cancer it looks like there were some hurts and betrayals and, and tough stuff that you were dealing with in 2017. And it was really throwing you off course and maybe making things uh, very unbalanced in your life. And it shut you down on an emotional level, making it very hard for you to find anything to be passionate about. However, um, it looks like you will be in this year you will be sort of coming out of that emotional apathy and starting to rebuild yourself on an emotional level and you're healing from these past hurts and so forth and you're finding your confidence you're getting your confidence back and that's really really good you're finding your confidence back so you can move towards success and achievement and all the things that perhaps in 2017 you were stopped from uh, achieving because of whatever was going on 
and also at the very end of it there's a, a need to uh, resurrect something maybe this year and I feel from these cards that are laid out it's probably resurrecting your emotional self so if you can get back on track with that I think uh, and it looks like in these cards you will definitely be doing that and it will lead you to success and attainment and it's time to just sort of leave the past hurts behind leave them in the past and just say lesson learned and, and move forward now moving on towards your uh, astrology tidbit this is based on Jupiter moving into uh, Scorpio and it will be here until the end of the year and how it affects each sign so for you guys it's cancer it's ready for some serious snuggling <laughs> your chart will be welcoming Jupiter's lovely vibes in your romance and leisure sector so that's very nice um, romance can come into your life in many forms yes you might meet someone if you are single and looking or an existing relationship could deepen but a different kind of love could also develop inside of you so that's like self-love this could be a hobby a sport or a new project pay attention to pay special attention to what your emotions tell you during this one-year transit what you find out through them will be beneficial and long-lasting see it's again it's speaking of that emotional definitely self-love because we have to kind of when we've been through a rough year on an emotional front we have to kind of rebuild ourselves emotionally and the best way to do that is you know through self-love and then we can truly open up and uh, let others in on the emotional front so I hope this reading helped you cancer if it did please feel free to like share and subscribe otherwise I will see you next time bye for now